It's uh, 7th of August and I'm loaded up with the plane heading out sheep hunting. So the sheep numbers in Alaska have been down a little bit the past uh, probably two years. So TBD on if we're going to find any full curl rams or not, but we're certainly going to go try. Alrighty. Name of the game. Try and look at as many mountains. Look for sheep as possible. So. That's what I'm going to do. Look and look and look. Try to, you know, spot some rams if I can. It only takes one, though. Got one tag. One opening day. And I always try to be in the position, sitting on the biggest ram that I saw that I can hunt. It is uh, August 8th. I'm sitting sort of below two rams that I... Um, think one could be legal maybe both of them actually but it's pretty hard to tell they're maybe around a mile and a half away and last night when I was glassing them through the spotting scope I just could not figure out if if they were legal or not I took a bunch of video but uh it's it's really hard so basically right now everything's fogged in I can't do anything I can't even see the mountain at all uh so I'm pretty much just hanging out in the tent There were two rams I thought one of them might be legal, but I think they're both probably just sublegal or not full. They might be actually like old enough, but they're uh, under full curl. So I think I'm just gonna give these, let these ones go and uh, not, not really make a push for them. So it's the 8th of August. So I still have a couple days to uh, work with. Uh, I think I'm gonna go land on a different spot. Thought I saw uh, potentially legal ram so I figured I'd just go land at one of those glass it see if uh, indeed the ram is legal or not and then uh, go from there okay there are the four rams guys yeah he's full curl oh dude that is sick I did spot one of the rams way up in some crazy, crazy high up. So there's no way I could even shoot it there because it probably, it might fall probably 500 to 1,000 feet. So I'm gonna have to hope that they come down the mountain a little bit. Uh, but we'll see. Today is a good day for it to rain. So that way tomorrow it can hopefully be nice. And uh, obviously, you know, today I'm not hunting anyway, so it doesn't doesn't hurt me too much to just be sitting in the tent. So, tomorrow, game time. When this is up, 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 and the rams are back probably another mile from here. So, I'm debating kind of leaving the camp right here. This is kind of a cool spot. Uh, just, I could set up right on the snow. It wouldn't be too bad, and then... I've got water right there, which is kind of nice. So I'm mainly just concerned about my wind. You know, if the wind swirls or updrafts, downdrafts, I don't want to be too close to that drainage. So I don't want them to get blown out. So <sighs> sweating pretty good here. It's not, uh, definitely not cold out with that little drizzle. Yeah, it's, uh, it's hot, so. One thing I like about this is I don't see any rocks on this, on that snow. So that kind of leads me to believe it might be pretty safe. You know, most of these rocks are probably fairly stable. And uh, cause I, I mean, it probably would honestly kill you if you had a rock, you know, smoke you coming down one of these hills, if it, if it hit you in the head when you're sleeping or even when you're awake, whenever. But um, yeah, I think this could be a good spot to offload. So here, you know, I don't really have that much stuff to offload. I probably can ditch about <laughs> 10 pounds, 15 pounds, maybe. But just make it a little bit lighter, and then I'm gonna press to where those sheep were and see if I can't can't get eyes on them. See if there's a legal one in there. And hopefully, you know, with any luck, hopefully one of them might even be in range. But it's so hard to tell. The the, the mounds here, they're just so big. I mean, they're so steep. I'm looking at this one up here. It's freaking crazy. 
tense up half mile that way and then up up and up and hopefully get a shot see how this goes all right closing the gap here this is so deceiving i'm trying to figure out where exactly i'm supposed to cut up at let's just say it looks pretty steep up there a little term again that's cool Alrighty, filling up that water. I'm going after my bottle. There we go. Tilt it off. Mike's standing on a nice little ledge here. <laughs> I'm making it up. Slowly but surely, probably come up a couple hundred vert. A couple hundred vert more to go if I can get right to that ridge line up there where it kind of is bald. A couple hundred more feet. I should be able to see if they're still there or not. They might have moved, but. We'll see, the wind is not ideal. It's kind of blowing up the valley right now. So I'm hoping that they're still there, haven't busted me. All right. It's so cloudy, I can't get a range on them, but they're all four down there. They have no idea I'm here. I really just need to figure out which one's which, but all my stuff is so fogged up, I can't see any of it. But they're like right down there. Let's do this. All right, there he is. He's 4.45 and finally got a range. This could get a little crazy, boys. This could get a little crazy. So hang on. All right, boys. Woohoo! Ram down. Right down there. It's probably somewhere between 400 and 450. I dry fired on him, I think, three times just to make sure I had a good, steady uh, trigger pull. This one, I, when I saw it at some point, I'm like, okay, I'm 100% sure that thing is full curl. It was not easy getting up here. I was, I, I could make it like 20 steps five second break 20 steps five second break you know i was trying to keep my heart rate kind of regulated so that it wasn't i didn't get up here and my heart rate was going 200 beats a minute but it was definitely a push to get up here and then what's funny is once i actually got here thank goodness they couldn't see me because i couldn't see through anything i couldn't see through my scope i couldn't see through my binos i couldn't see through the spotting scope everything was just these like white fuzzy dots because these clouds were moving in and out my range finder didn't work in fact i only actually got one range i probably shot 100 ranges down here and i only got one range to work and it happened to be next to the ram it said 445 and i was like all right i'm shooting for 445. this is sort of unreal to me but the ram is dead right there that ram's still standing there and those two just went back to feeding which is just sort of insane i don't know what to think right now that's crazy I, it's been probably 10 minutes since I shot. They're, they're just like back to feeding. They're like, all right, sorry, Bob. Better luck in the afterlife. Nice knowing you. That's crazy. All right, well, let's go get, let's go check them out. Little sniper ridge up there. And uh, there's the ram. So pretty amazing. I just have to meander down there and then cut over and up and. He's bedded right here. Just minding his business. I shot. And then, yeah, just look at, I mean, from the video, you know, like, look at the blood trail that starts right here. This is wild to me. Just a heavy blood trail. No wonder he went down so fast. And then he's just right there. Dude, what a great looking ram. Jeez. Toadzilla. 
Oh yeah, that's sweet right there. Good looking ram, full curl, old enough. It's entirely possible I shot it in the horn right there. I'm not sure, the video will tell, thankfully. <laughs> Big ram down, got a, uh, got a tank of a ram here. So really, really exciting. Uh, uh, I think it's probably one of the best feelings in the world when you actually, uh, you know, get a ram down, your whole plan comes together. Uh, it's not, it's definitely not easy. A lot of planning. I mean, I've been out here for seventh, eighth, ninth. So three days just before the season started scouting and, uh, yeah, kind of all, all came together up on the sniper Ridge and, uh, made, made a shot count. And, you know, now it's just a matter of hiking it out, which is also not an easy, easy job, but. Um, to me, you know, it's, that's okay. Like it's all part of the fun and the journey and couldn't be happier. This is a, uh, this is definitely a great Ram. I'm stoked. I feel so lucky to have just a chance to be out here and do this every year if I choose to. All right, loaded up fellas. Got a big old Ram bag full of meat and, uh, I'm trying to figure out what I want to do with my life right now. It's 620. This feels fairly heavy, so that might be making my decision for me. I might be making two trips back, which isn't the end of the world, but I've got time. But yeah, this is, uh, if I didn't have my whole camp, I would for sure just go bust it out. But unfortunately I brought the whole camp with and stuff for four days. So I still have another probably 15 pounds to add on to this. And if it was all downhill, I think I would do it, but I don't know that I want to. I haven't really figured out my game plan yet, but I'm gonna leave my pack there and uh, go get the tent. That's where I hiked from, right up there. And believe it or not, it actually is steeper than it looks. Made it to the tent. Plan is just to uh, take this down, head back to where I dropped my pack. And I think I'm just gonna set up camp there and uh, camp out for the night and then in the morning, you know, potentially try to just do it all with, with the, in the one load. I mean, I know people do it. I'm just not a true man. So I'm not sure if I, I've got it in me, but. All right. It's uh morning of the 11th and I decided to pack out just the meat. Probably have still a hundred pounds here with the meat, the horns, and then the hide. And then, I mean, just the pack, I think it's like seven or eight pounds, but going to just start, uh, making my way to the plane and, you know, just take it one step at a time. So made it out with one load, which had all the meat cape and the horns, which is definitely the heavy load. So that was probably had to be around a hundred pounds. I, I was actually really surprised just getting it on my back, how difficult that was. So pretty heavy. Yeah. Let's uh, just keep at it. I don't want to stop for too long or my legs will probably get a little tired and not want to cooperate. So I'm just going to try to keep moving and uh, make some progress here. Made it back to uh, Anchorage. Red Rockets in one piece, full curl ram, pretty awesome. Awesome 2022 sheep hunt.